Hello and welcome to another Moment of Mediocrity with a new demo for a game called Town Frame. I saw that you were perfect and so I loved you but now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors. Oh, hello. You must be the new Town Framer. Great! My name is Tutorial Tomato, and I am your guide in this world. So let me explain what your responsibilities are. As a Town Framer, you travel through the world and recreate towns from people's memories, who once lived there or had a special connection to those places. Each person has their own requirements, so read carefully. To rebuild these towns, you can simply click on the buildings and trees within the town frame to change their type. Give it a try. Click on this building here. Okay. Simply clicking is not the only way to change the type of an object. If you hold down the left mouse button on a house or tree for a long time, a selection wheel appears with all the building options. Try this here too on this tree and change the type of object using the selection wheel. For some town frames, you may have to do a bit more than just click on the buildings to complete the task of the people, but that's something you can figure out for yourself. Well, did you understand everything I said, or do you want me to repeat it? I, I guess I got it. Great, then I will send you to the first town now and leave you to your tasks. I wish you a good time. Note, the towns and the world of town frame may change in the final game. All right, here's our first. We got a little bit of a hill situation. Looks like we can have up to two hints. And uh, Jamie is saying, when I was a child, I felt like a king. Our house was the biggest of them all and was right next to an old tree that stood at the top of the back hill. I would love to see that scene again. Can you do that? All right, so it looks like we have to click this to generate the town. It says it was the biggest of them all. Okay, so that would be the top option there. And it was next to an old tree that stood at the top. Okay, so the tree stood at the top of the hill and their house was the biggest. So then that means we should probably make all of these smaller. There we go. Oh yes, that's exactly what my town looked like. Oh, that brings back a lot of memories. Thank you so much. Here's a coin for you. Maybe you can use it in the shop. I heard that's where you town framers get your work tools. I like that we actually get to take it from his hand. Okay, it looks like we need to check out the shop. And, um, okay, we have to spend our coin on a world map. And now we can go down here to go to the world map and choose our next town frame. Can you see this castle town? That's the place where the cool kids lived. And no, I wasn't one of them. Back then we lived very far away from the castle town. I didn't like it because my school was in the town. So each time I had to walk through this scary forest. But as soon as I saw all the spiky and high towers of the town, my heartbeat stabilized. I know that must sound weird, but could you recreate this please? Okay, so we lived very far away, which would tell me somewhere over here on this lane. And we had to walk through a scary forest, so we probably need to make as many trees as possible. And then it said the high towers, spiky and high towers of the town. All right, so my guess is all of these need to be high and spiky, like so. And all these houses need to become trees. Like so. And I bet we could just... Oh yeah, that works. Crazy. It's like looking back at my childhood. You know, it may have seemed like I didn't like the life back then, but I miss those days of innocence, ignorance, and rebellion. You're one of those cool kids, right? So here, you have a coin and thank you very much. Well, we don't have enough to buy anything in the shop, but we should have enough to move on to the next town. 
Strength is born of calmness. Okay. Very helpful. Um, maybe just trees. Yep. You know, when I was younger, I always had to take part in everything. Everything was important to me, and every day I was afraid of missing out on something. But then, at some point on a journey, I just let go of everything, and my mind was free. So free that I could see what was really important to me. May this also help you on your journey. Two coins. Thank you. Let's check the world map. In this demo, you can solve a maximum of eight puzzles. Which ones you do and in which order is up to you. If you get stuck on a puzzle, you can always try another one first. Tutorial tomato. Alright, I think we'll just move on down here to the next one. And it says, My brother told me that when we were young, we lived in a very small farmhouse. And every time I played among the fields, my brother was outside watching our sheep. Dolly, who was always hiding among the trees on the east side of our yard. Could you look after our farm and Dolly? Okay, hi hiding. Something's going to happen with hiding. Wait. A tool to discover hidden things. I had a feeling because they said something about us having tools. Okay, so if we do this... You said the sheep who's always hiding among the trees on the east side of our yard. This is the east, right? Hmm. Maybe we make more trees? Oh. There we go. Okay. And then look after our farm. I would say a farm. Yeah. <laughs> making Just making the farm or the house a little smaller to look like a barn, I guess? Oh, thank you. My brother will be blasted away when I tell him that Dolly is still making fun of him. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Let me check out what other tools I have. I can make photos or make wind. And we have a lot to get the town sounds. Okay. So I have a feeling making wind is going to be the next thing we need. Let's head back to the world map. We've completed these four, so we have four more available to us. Alright. Oh, hello. You are really here. How interesting. The rumors seem to be true. Well, let's see if a human can do the work of a machine. Okay. Hugo? Oh. How about zero, zero, one, 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 zero, Okay, I don't know which is going to be zero, so I'm just kind of playing around, but I don't know that it matters how big any of the houses are. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Great, as expected. Wondering what you would put into the system? Well, that must remain a secret. This gift shall be yours. Thank you. Okay, that was, that was kind of clever. That was, I like that. Okay, let's work our way across over to this. Oh, hello, dear. Could you do me a favor, please? I wish I could see again my little fishing village on the coastland where I and my family once lived. We didn't have much, but it was a harmonious life in those tiny houses. Oh, and I also miss the lighthouse on the island where the strong west winds once broke. There's the wind. Strong west winds. Okay, so let's generate the town. I'm going to say this is probably a lighthouse. Now, the lighthouse would probably be a tall building. Maybe we should make it this. And then do a lot of little small houses. Oh wait, this would be the island where the... Okay, yeah, that's going to be. And then the rest of these would be small houses. There we go. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Look at those waves. I can feel the wind from my younger days again. Thank you so much for making an old lady like me feel young again. Life is wonderful. So this is for you. I guess you can use it better than I can. I like how we kind of unlock tools as we go along as well. And okay, I think, yeah, we're just gonna keep working across. We got, we have two more puzzles left, I think. I had an exciting life as a child because I ran across the roofs of our town. I always started on the east side on a horizontal roof. And if you look straight ahead to the west, all the houses had the same height to me. I jumped over the spiked roofs that came after every two walkable roofs. Only in the middle of our town, there was no house. That was always a risky jump for me. Can you recreate this for me? Okay. So we start on the east side and horizontal roofs. And they were all the same height. Okay, now we gotta... Like so. Okay, so it was... Spiked roofs came after every two walkable roofs. Okay, that's the highest we can go here. So we need to make these a little shorter. Okay, this has to be a spiky one though. There we go. And this will be a short one. And then this would be a flat one. Oh, we need to do a tall flat one. And then this would be another tall flat. No, that's the middle of town. So there's no roof there. Right? One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So two, and now another flat one. And then a spiky one. And then a flat one. And a flat one. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. That was a fun time. I've always been a bit of an adrenaline junkie, and still am today. But especially as a kid, it might not have been the safest way to have fun. <laughs> Anyways, this is for you. Alright, this is our last one to take a look at today. Greetings, young town framer. I have a very important job for you to do. I need to know if my old friend is alright. His name is Freddy. He usually hides between the trees and only comes out on rainy days. Could you go check on him? Can we bring on rain? Or do we do that with the wind? Okay, hides between trees. Maybe we need to make more trees. And maybe we make it windy because it's... Maybe we make it less... Oh, wait. Okay. There we go. You found a frog, Ribbit. <laughs> Phew, he's still alive. That's great. I was worried that he had put himself in an unnecessary danger again. Back then, I had to save him and lost an eye. Well, one eye for one life. <laughs> I think that is a good exchange. Anyway, thank you for your help. This is for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Congratulations. You've reached the maximum number of playable puzzles in this demo. I'd love to give you an award, Tomato, but unfortunately, they're not ripe yet. They should be ripe by the time of the final release. If you like, you can add your game to a wish list on Steam, which I do think I am going to be doing. I had fun with this. This is cute. It's a unique game. Kind of, I like the puzzly aspect of it, and nothing is overly complicated. You know, sometimes you don't want to have to think too hard. I say that a lot on this channel, but that's like 90% of the reason why I play games is to not think. So that's kind of why it comes up a lot when I'm talking. But what do you think of the game? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button. Comment down below to share your thoughts and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are. I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you. But now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors. I was blinded by the lights, caught up in a fantasy. 
I saw that you were perfect, but you're not what you see.